In this video, you will learn how to use Google Slides to create a stop motion animation film. You will learn how to arrange the order of your photos, change the size of your photos, create call outs so that you can add dialogue, duplicate or make copies of your slides, create movement, and a technique called tweening. All right, so at this point, you should have a base slide that has all of the images that you in, intend to include in your animation. So here you see I have my background image, I have um, the International Space Station, I have one character here, um, and this is actually the same character but in a different position so that I can add a little more interest to the um, animation. And then I have um, some elements here that I used the um, drawing tools or the shape tools to create what was kind of like an explosion. And then over here, I have my alien spaceship, which is an ice cream cone and my alien. Okay, so that's the overview of what I'm going to be included, including in my animation story. Now, sometimes what will happen is as you're adding your pictures in, you will notice that some pictures end up in front of other pictures, okay? And like, for example, here, I can't even get to my alien. So what I need to do in order to get to my alien, now that this ice cream cone is on top of it, is I need to crop the image down so that I have access to the other image that's behind it. Okay, so how do I do that? Two ways, you can double click the image, and then these bars will show up and you can grab one of those bars. And then you can use that to create the, um, the border around your picture, um, make it a little smaller so it's easier to get to the stuff that's behind it. The crop tool also is up here. Okay, so once you're happy with that, click. And now I can get to my alien. But let's say I want my alien to be on top of the ice cream cone. What you can do for that is change the order. In order to do that, you will have to right click on your photo. So on a Chromebook, what you'll have to do is you'll have to hold down the Alt key and then click on the trackpad and that will um, bring up the right click menu. Okay, so right click and then you get this menu that comes up. You wanna go to order and then you can click bring to front. And now my alien is in front of my ice cream cone. Okay, what if I wanna change the size of my photos? Remember, never pull from one of these middle handles. That is not going to help you because it will distort your photo unless you want it to be distorted. To get rid of that, you can press Control Z. That will help you to go backwards. Instead, to change the size, always pull from one of the corners, and that will change the size. You can also rotate your image by grabbing that handle there. Okay, let's say I want to add a call out to my animation to help with some dialogue. So, call outs can be found if I go up to Insert, Shape, Call Outs. And you can see there are a number of different options. There's a thinking call out, and then a couple of different ones for just regular um, conversation. So choose whichever one you think is the appropriate one for what you're trying to do. Select it and then click and drag. There are a few things you can do to change this. You can change the color of the background of your call out. You can also change the line. If you wanna change the color of the line, the thickness of the line. Think about what looks best for your story. The other thing you can do is you can double click inside of the call out and type text. Hello. Okay, so um, that's the way you can add text. And then sometimes if it doesn't fit, you can change the size of the font, right? Make it bigger, smaller, or you can change the size and shape of your call out um, bubble. The last thing about callouts that you need to know is down here, there's a little yellow, try a yellow diamond. You can use that and bring it all the way over to your character so that we understand that that is the character that is in the process of thinking or speaking. 
Okay, so that can get moved all over the place. Okay, that is how you make callouts. I'm gonna get rid of this guy for now. Okay, so you're ready to start your animation. The first thing you need to do is you need to come over here and you need to click on the slide um, that has all your pictures. And then you're gonna pr press Control D. And what that will do is it will duplicate your slide. Now this is an important um, technique to use because you'll be using it a lot to create your animations. The next thing I'm gonna do now that I have duplicated this slide is I'm gonna get rid of anything I don't need yet in my animation. Like I don't need all of these shapes because that part of the story hasn't happened yet. I don't need this. I also don't need my alien or the spaceship. I do need this guy. He's going to start my story, okay? This is um, Captain Steve. So he is going to be the one that is the beginning of my um, story. So if I want to start to make him move around, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over here, make sure that my slide is selected, press Control D, excuse me, yep, Control D, and now you have the same slide. And what you can do is you can just move him a little bit, depending on where you want him to go. Make sure that you have um, come back over to your slide, press Control D, and that will copy that slide again, and then you can move them a little bit. Press Control D, move them a little bit. Press Control D, move them a little bit. Okay, so now what's happened is I have started to make him float over to the space station. This space station is also movable. So let's say I want to have more than one thing moving in a slide at a time. I can also do that. I can press Control D, and instead of moving just one thing, I'll move him a little bit, and then I'll move the space station a little bit. Select my slide, press Control D. I can move him a little bit, and then the space station a little bit. So think about how you want your objects to move um, before you start animating. One thing I notice happens is if you forget to come back over here and um, click on the slide before you press Control D, then what will happen is it will just duplicate the picture that you have selected. See how I have this selection box around the, sta the space station? If I were to press Control D right now, Control D, you see how it just made another space station? And that's not what you want. So press Control Z to get rid of that. Make sure that you have your slide selected and then press Control D. And now you have um, another um, slide to animate. Look at this, this guy ended up in front of this guy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to press Alt click or right click, order, send it back. And now my astronaut is in front of the space station. All right, so now we know how to change the order of photos, how to change their size, how to make callouts, and how to duplicate slides and then create some movement. The next level that we are going to learn about is called tweening. Now, tweening is a technique that animators use where they select keyframes, and keyframes are is just a fancy word for like the important parts of your story. So they create those keyframes first, and then they animate in between, hence the term tweening, in between those keyframes to connect the movement. So here down, down here where you see this kangaroo, here is the first keyframe in black, and then the second keyframe in black here, and then the next frames would be these red shapes that are animated in between the keyframes. So this is an easy way for you to be able to make your story um, so that it has a direct path from beginning, introduction, middle, what's happening, what went wrong, and end, the resolution. So how do we do tweening? I'm gonna show you real quick. So this is how I wanna open my animation. This is the first slide I want people to see when the animation starts. Then I want to animate so that Steve, Captain Steve down here, starts to float up into the middle. And then he also has a um, call out where it says, hi, I'm Captain Steve. Okay, so in order to do that, I have created my first slide. And now I know what my second slide wants to, wants to be. I'm going to now 
animate by selecting the slide, pressing, you guessed it, control D. And now I'm going to move Captain Steve up and over until he ends up being in the same position as what we see here, okay? And that may take several slides. The more slides you do in between each um, key frame, the smoother the animation will look. Now, when you have a call out in your animation, if you just leave it on one slide, it will go by so quickly that no one will be able to read it. So if you, once you put your call out in, you need to then copy it 10 times, okay? So that the call out stays on the screen long enough for people to read it. So I have my slide selected, Control D, Control D, Control D. Okay, and then a bunch of, do that 10 times. So now you'll have a bunch of um, slides that have the call out on there so that people can read it um, and it stays on, on the screen long enough. Okay, so we just learned a whole lot about how to animate um, Google Slides. So you're going to arrange the order of your photos. You now know how to change the size of your photos. You can create callouts, duplicate cop uh, and make copies of your slides, create movement between those slides. And then we also learned how to use the tweening technique. Next steps, open assignment number 6D, your stop motion animation. Create your keyframes or the important parts of your story. Then go back and start making frames to connect the movement.